Uh, hi, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, a, a trick to uh, glaze the uh, marks that you can glaze both inside and outside all at once. And uh, it's easier to glaze the mark uh, because if you have a ball, uh, it's harder for you because it's so such a large area. It's not easy to suck up the uh, glaze to splash on the inside. So basically, I'm going to dip my mug into the glaze and then pull it up and try to uh, pull up the glaze so the glaze will splash on the inside and you can glaze all at once. But uh, the uh, uh, good way to do this when you have a taller foot so that you, your hand is easier to grip on the foot. Okay, so let me do a demonstration. And before I do that, I like to uh, stir the glaze a bit. Okay. So first, I dip it in all the way to the foot. And then I pull it lightly. And then when I try to pull it up, okay, I pull it up to not over the surface, okay, just below the, 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 the glaze surface. And then stop right there while I uh, push it up, pull it up, and uh, the glaze will splash on the inside. So we can glaze all at once, the, uh, both inside and outside. See, look at the inside and the outside. Okay, so it's only take a, a 30 seconds, you can glaze uh, both inside and outside easily. And then uh, you just uh, pour in enough glaze on inside the foot and go around. And here you go. So you have a one pot. You can glaze within one minute, actually. Okay, let me do another one. Again, all the way, submerge into the glaze and pull it half, about one third of it, and then you try to lift it up. Okay so that the glaze splash on the inside. Okay, before I flip over, I like to have a residual glaze go around on the rim. If you flip over right away, uh, you might have a little bit of drip. Okay, and that's the inside. Okay, and just go, suck up enough please, and you just pour in, drip in on the inside of the foot, and you go around, on the foot. Okay, remember before the glaze dry, you don't want to flip over. Uh, wait till the glaze dry, otherwise you will have a glaze trip over. Okay, so that's the uh, inside, both inside and outside, you can glaze easily by just suck up the glaze. And uh, here's the third one, let me show you the third one. And wait till the glaze dry on the rim before you flip over. Okay, that's the inside. And again, to a little bit of glaze on the inside of the foot. You go around. So you finish, please.
three marks in no time. Okay, uh, I have to I glaze the uh, one glaze. This is uh, this glaze is called yellow salt, and then I'm gonna uh, put a, a little bit of a decoration, especially on the top portion of it, so that that both combination will look good after fire. Okay, so this is the uh, green. I call it green speckle glaze. Um, I just uh, go. A couple drip over, and then you turn around. Okay, so just make it on the rim. On uh, both combination of glaze, uh, especially the green glaze is the running glaze. So at the fire, it's not going to uh, going to be a line there. It's going to be uh, a nice little bit trip and uh, it looks beautiful let me do another one Okay, that's the uh, look before fire. Okay, um, the the way I just show you, uh, you can practice easily. Okay, uh, here is a bucket of water, just water. I mean, and uh, this is the uh, finish that been fire uh, part that has been fire glaze fire. So you're gonna use this to practice it, and make sure that your wall is kind of straight. You don't want to have too much of the volume. That is hard to uh, get a splash on the inside. If you have a straight one, uh, it will be easier for you to splash on the inside. Okay. So watch. The same thing. You like think this is the, the glaze, and then you just go, and then all the way to the foot. And then you go pull up like slightly, and then you want to pull up, and then you stop right there. Okay. Well, you suck it up and you stop right there. Um, that's the the glaze or the water will go splash on the inside, and you can check to see if you have water on the inside. Okay. Um, in this case, you see that my hand is shiny. It means that the glaze is going inside. My hand is wet and shiny, so the glaze is go inside. So you can check it, and you can uh, get another one, or you can just wipe it dry, and you can do it again, and do the practice, okay, now one more time. Go, and like that, okay, go in, and right there, right there, you can see the water coming down from the inside, because I suck up the, the water and the splash on the inside, okay, one more time, okay, so, this way that you can glaze it easily and you can see that the inside it's wet it's wet okay so uh, this is conclude my demonstration and uh, I hope you can get it and uh, next time when you uh, glaze the mugs you can use this way and easy okay thanks for watching okay now here is the two mugs the uh, I want to show you the uh, result of uh, the uh, glazing inside and outside, all the ones, and also the uh, green uh, matte speckles glaze over by this section, and then at the fire is just when it done. Um, this is the result. Um, you can see the inside with the glaze all over, and also on the inside of the foot, and uh, the glaze. And this is the other one. Again, this is a, the outside is called yellow salt. Um, you get uh, sometimes you get a little bit orange, especially on the thinner part. Okay, um, this is the result. And um, by the way, uh, people ask me if I teach 
Yes, I do teach. Um, uh, I teach. Uh, if you live in the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, I teach at a Sunnyvale Community Center uh, on Wednesday, uh, Monday through Wednesday morning, and uh, I also teach at a higher fire on uh, Wednesday night, seven to ten. Yeah, if you wanna uh, take my class, uh, feel free to uh, contact the uh, location, and uh, they they will give you uh, detail on uh, when is my schedule of teaching. Alright, thanks for watching.